Yes. Thank you, Kaylee. Uh, two questions about the coronavirus. Uh, the president of the Minneapolis Federal Reserve, he said two days ago that he believed that the only way to have a real strong, robust economic recovery would be to shut the country down again for a month to six weeks. I know that this idea of short-term pain for long-term gain has been shot down before by President Trump, but has, has it been given any more consideration given the recent flares across the country? No, and I would refer you to what uh, Dr. Fauci said back in May. He said we can't stay locked down for such a considerable period of time that you might do irreparable damage and have unintended consequences, including consequences for health. And several of those consequences I've outlined for you uh, before. Um, for instance, the fact that in any given year you have 120,000 Americans who die from drug um, overdose or suicide, and we saw during the lockdown previous Obviously, that uh, we saw overdoses nationally jump by 18% in March and 29% in April, 42% in May. Um, overdoses do go up, suicides do go up, cancer cases are missed, as Dr. Scott Atlas has pointed out, um, that in the U.S. alone there are 150,000 new cancer cases that arise every month among patients. Most have not been seen, and that was referring to the lockdown. The American Cancer Society um, also noted that during the pandemic they've seen an 80% drop in cancer cases being identified. So there are many health consequences. Those are uh, three of what are uh, a long list. But so no matter how bad it gets, you don't think there's any way that President Trump would, would look at it? I'm nation certainly online. not going to engage in hypotheticals, but no, the president is not considering um, a national lockdown. What he is encouraging is mitigation efforts um, like wearing a mask, which is patriotic, like social distancing, and engaging in these really common sense uh, safe measures to safely reopen and avoid the health consequences of a lockdown.